Good morning, folks. We're watching the end of this plasma filament, and as we do, note the jolty SDO images. The satellite performed a flip known as an SDO roll done to cool the sun-facing side of the spacecraft. They do a good job reorienting the images, however, and as you'll see, our visibility did not suffer. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. 193 angstroms of light zoomed in on the large northern filament crossing center disk today and tomorrow. She is stable for now. Then we come down and take a look at the thinner but less stable filament in the south. We're in 211 angstroms, so we can also see the dark coronal hole coming in behind it. Let's go to the X-ray solar flaring and find the Earth-facing quiet effect in full swing. The silent sunspots begin to turn and still lack magnetic complexity. We do have a couple incoming spots, but a hushed calm has fallen over their little huddle up there. Solar wind telemetry showing sustained speedy streams in yellow, but again, the steadiness of the stream adds a measure of stability that allows Earth's magnetosphere to handle it just fine. As you all know, the earthquake watch will begin to descend here tonight, but with one last planetary geometry, the higher alerts persisted. A major one came together in the last few hours, and so did the planetary resonance coupling. As Mercury conjoined the Sun, magnitude 6.7 struck Japan. A six-pointer rumbled in Bolivia across the Pacific, and we also had a strange uptick north of India there, well above normal. Mount Egon went off as well, who are you going to call? And another one in El Salvador, evacuations ordered there. A terrific data release came from the ESA showing exposed water ice on Comet 67P. There is visual, temperature, and other analyses from Rosetta that were used to make this discovery. We also have first light from gravity, the system that will be used to probe what mainstream science describes as black holes. Hopefully it will be illuminating their electrical nature. Now thus far, we're far from that, but this is going to be a significant system for years to come. Record Cyclone Poly in the Central Pacific did have some amazing penumbral earth spot ridges you can see here. It is fading, but a new system has been named Alex in the Atlantic Ocean. Again, really shouldn't be happening this time of year. And within two or three days, we may see another one. Low pressure earth spots will be driving the rains today, especially where their eastern convergence lines run near water. That's the west coast and south of the central low where the convergence hits the gulf. We've got a number of lows spinning in Europe. If they can clear east for just a bit, we're going to see a powerful winter punch hit here. So eyes on those earth spots. Down under, the tropical candidate might catch your eye, but the more relevant system is the Antarctic low drawing its convergence north to the tip of the South Island and up across Australia. In a fortnight, I'll be in Arizona getting ready for the conference, observing the frontier. VIP tickets are officially sold out, folks, so don't miss your chance to get general admission for the science and the social hour with the speakers. Got shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.